Welcome to this video, where we will explore the story of Hezekiah, a faithful king of Judah who faced the threat of the Assyrian army. This story is found in the books of 2 Kings, 2 Chronicles, and Isaiah in the Bible. It covers his reforms, his prayer, and God's deliverance. Let's dive in. Hezekiah's Reforms Hezekiah became king of Judah when he was 25 years old, and he reigned for 29 years. He did what was right in God's eyes, unlike his father Ahaz, who had done evil. He abolished idolatry and restored true worship in Judah. He repaired the temple, reinstated the priests and Levites, and celebrated the Passover with a great assembly of people. He also removed the high places, broke the sacred pillars, cut down the wooden image of Asherah, and broke in pieces the bronze serpent that Moses had made, which the people had burned incense to. He trusted in the Lord God of Israel, and there was no one like him among all the kings of Judah, either before him or after him. Hezekiah also prospered and rebelled against Assyria, the dominant world power at that time. He defeated the Philistines and refused to pay tribute to the king of Assyria, as his father had done. He said, The Lord will save us. He will not let the king of Assyria come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor build a siege mound against it. Sennacherib's Invasion However, the king of Assyria, Sennacherib, was not pleased with Hezekiah's defiance. He attacked and captured Judah's fortified cities, and sent his servants to Jerusalem with a great army. He demanded a ransom from Hezekiah, saying, Do not let Hezekiah deceive you, for he will not be able to deliver you from my hand, nor let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord, saying, The Lord will surely deliver us, this city will not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. Hezekiah was afraid and gave Sennacherib all the silver and gold that was found in the house of the Lord and in the treasuries of the king's house. He even cut off the gold from the doors of the temple and gave it to Sennacherib. But this did not satisfy him. He sent a letter to Hezekiah, mocking God and Jerusalem, saying, Do not let your God in whom you trust deceive you, saying, Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. Look, you have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all lands by utterly destroying them, and shall you be delivered? Have the gods of the nations delivered those whom my fathers have destroyed, such as Gozan and Haran and Rezeph, and the people of Eden who were in Talasar? Where is the king of Hamath, the king of Arpad, the king of the city of Sepharvaim, the king of Hena, and the king of Iva? Hezekiah's Prayer Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers, and read it. He went up to the house of the Lord, and spread it before the Lord. He prayed to the Lord, saying, O Lord God of Israel, the one who dwells between the cherubim, you are God, you alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear, open your eyes, O Lord, and see, and hear the words of Sennacherib, which he has sent to reproach the living God. Truly, Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste the nations and their lands, and have cast their gods into the fire, for they were not gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they destroyed them. Now therefore, O Lord our God, I pray, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you are the Lord God, you alone. Hezekiah also sent messengers to Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amaz, saying, This day is a day of trouble, and rebuke, and blasphemy. For the children have come to birth, but there is no strength to bring them forth. It may be that the Lord your God will hear all the words of the Rabshakeh, whom his master the king of Assyria has sent to reproach the living God, and will rebuke the words which the Lord your God has heard. Therefore lift up your prayer for the remnant that is left. God's Deliverance The word of the Lord came to Isaiah, saying, Go and tell Hezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, I have heard your prayer concerning Sennacherib king of Assyria. This is the word which the Lord has spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, has despised you, laughed you to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem, has shaken her head behind your back. Whom have you reproached and blasphemed? Against whom have you raised your voice, and lifted up your eyes on high? Against the Holy One of Israel. By your messengers you have reproached the Lord, and said, By the multitude of my chariots. I have come up to the height of the mountains, to the limits of Lebanon. I will cut down its tall cedars, and its choice cypress trees. I will enter the extremity of its borders, to its fruitful forest. I have dug and drunk strange water, and with the soles of my feet I have dried up. All the brooks of defense. Did you not hear long ago, how I made it, from ancient times that I formed it? Now I have brought it to pass, that you should be, for crushing fortified cities into heaps of ruins. Therefore their inhabitants had little power, they were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field, and the green herb, as the grass on the housetops, and grain blighted before it is grown. But I know your dwelling place, your rage against me and your tumult, have come up to my ears, therefore I will put my hook in your nose, and my bridle in your lips, and I will turn you back, by the way which you came. This shall be a sign to you. You shall eat this year such as grows of itself, and in the second year what springs from the same. Also in the third year sow and reap, 
plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them, and the remnant who have escaped of the house of Judah, shall again take root downward, and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go a remnant, and those who escape from Mount Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Therefore thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor build a siege mound against it, by the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and he shall not come into the city, says the Lord, for I will defend the city, to save it, for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. And it came to pass on a certain night that the angel of the Lord went out, and killed in the camp of the Assyrians one hundred and eighty-five thousand. And when people arose early in the morning, there were the corpses, all dead. So Sennacherib king of Assyria departed and went away, returned home, and remained at Nineveh. Now it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the temple of Nisroch his god, that his sons Adramelech and Sharezer struck him down with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Ararat. Then Esarhaddon his son reigned in his place. This is the amazing story of Hezekiah, a faithful king of Judah who faced the threat of the Assyrian army. It shows us how God answered his prayer and delivered him and his people from a seemingly impossible situation. It also teaches us some important lessons, such as, we should do what is right in God's eyes, not in our own or in the world's. We should trust in the Lord, not in our own strength or in other sources of help. We should worship the Lord alone, not idols or false gods. We should pray to the Lord, not panic or despair, when we face troubles or enemies. We should glorify the Lord, not ourselves or others, when we experience his salvation and blessings. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more biblical stories and insights. God bless you.